Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. How the heck is everyone doing? Yes, yes, I am here to do a reading for Pisces. So let's see what these cards have to say for y'all, yeah? I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing well. I hear that some of you guys are disgruntled because I'm not putting up um, very many Pisces videos lately. Um, and that's warranted. That's warranted. But y'all have some, have some mercy and some grace with me. I have a full-time job, which is doing personal readings for people, which is exhausting. I love it. It is my calling, but it is exhausting. And at the end of the day, all I really want to do is check out. On top of that, I have another company that I co-manage. On top of that, personal care, family life, household life, and everything in between. So, y'all, I just don't have a lot of time to tend to YouTube. YouTube is not my main concern, but here you go. Give me a second to channel and we will proceed. Spirit, Source, woo, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Pisces with me. And Spirit, Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Pisces and what do they need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards the Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how is it that they should navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for this particular Pisces. I'll cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Spirit, tell me where that stopping point is for Pisces. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. What does Pisces need to, need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future spirit? Where is the stopping? Okay, right there. Point for Pisces. All right, you guys, let's cut them and see. Let's go. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Bottom of the deck is the Sun in Reverse, to the Fool in Reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands. Interesting. This will come in handy in just a little while. I'm going to stick them up there. All right. First card out. Woo-wee! The Eight of Wands. Some kind of movement, action, change. The Dower in Reverse, possibly to avert disaster or possibly to pull yourself out of some kind of implosion in your life. Princess of Wands, exploration, excitement, discovery, the Hierophant, commitments, obligations, belief systems, the Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Prince of Cups in reverse, possibly emotionally apathetic. The world, massive turning point right beneath that tower. The High Priestess, you in the center of your reading, Pisces. Uh, this is source energy. This is your intuition. King of Pentacles in reverse to the Alchemist in reverse. We'll see what that's about. The Princess of Cups in reverse. Okay, and the Devil in reverse, releasing some limiting beliefs. The Prince of Pentacles that have been around for too long. Two of Wands in reverse. Can't build your future like that. Five of Pentacles in reverse. We'll see what that's about. The Two of Cups, some kind of reunion or relationship. Two of Swords, a crossroads. Prince of Wands, some entire inspired action. Three of Cups in reverse. Stifled creativity. The Chariot, pushing forward. 
the Two of Pentacles in reverse, Imbalance, the Prince of Swords, the Hangman in reverse, and Strength to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, understood. Six of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. All right, that's where we'll stop. Okay, Pisces, let's make some sense out of this. We're going to use the good old-fashioned Rider weight. All right, let's make some sense out of all this. So the Eight of Wands movement action and change to the tower tell me about this tower spirit tell me about this tower please what 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 is this tower is this a personal transformation for pisces or is this about averting disaster i think it's a personal transformation because the cards are saying you need to change something so tell me about this tower please Yep, the three of wands, some foresight, the future, woo, and the fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. Nice, 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 nice. So, woo, look at that to the queen of pentacles. Interesting. So the princess. Understood. All right. And the wheel of fortune. Where is this taking Pisces? Massive turning point. Massive turning point. Where is this taking Pisces? You know what? I feel like I need to ask that question with the whole fresh deck. We're just going to grab the nearest one. Ooh, this is the, the numerology tarot. So where is this? Where is the wheel of fortune taking Pisces? Oh, I cannot make this up. Love. Interesting. All right, you guys. All right. All right, few things you need to know about me before we get started here. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I will swear, most likely, and I smoke my vape on camera. And if any of that bothers you, this neighborhood is too rough for you. And you need to go around the corner to Rainbow and Unicorn Lane because there's a lot of people out there that can uh, provide your needs. All right, all right, let's jump into this. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on. Y'all have to excuse my fingers, okay? I've been doing a project, and I have stain um, on my fingers, so sorry about that. But I am not one to not do a reading just because I'm not perfect, because I am not perfect. All right, Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change is the first card out. It sets the tone for everything, Pisces. Movement, action, and change is about to happen in your life, okay? What's it about? Well, the tower in reverse, where something has crumbled from your past, it's about to come around full circle, okay? And they need you to pull yourself out of this crumbling of whatever this was in your past. They need you to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, brush yourself off, and realize that the foundation that you were trying to build upon in the past could not bear the weight of what it was you were trying to build. It wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right place. It wasn't the right situation or the right circumstances. Okay? So this is about to come full circle and come back around on you, Pisces, and they need you to, to brush yourself off, okay? The three of wands, get ready. This card is about being prepared. Get ready. The fool, there is a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a quantum leap in your life that is about to take place, Pisces, to the queen of pentacles. And in this quantum leap, in this movement that they're asking you to take, you are going to be in a position of security. All good. All good in the finances. All good in the fridge. All good in the gas tank. Everybody's happy. Everybody's grounded. You are at peace. It's, a, it's an immense sense of well-being. Not to mention that this whole, this whole shift in your life here is going to put you into some kind of committed relationship. Okay? All right. The Princess of Wands. There's a message coming to you. There is. This Princess of Wands is also talking about this tower. Okay? Instead of being salty about the way that things turned out in the past... They want you to recalibrate your mind 
and begin to think in a different way, begin to be excited in a different way because there is a message coming into you to the Hierophant and it's going to lead to commitment. It's going to lead to long-term commitment. The five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the lovers in reverse. This lovers in reverse and this five of cups is the tower. Okay. This is what happened previously. All right. What is all this about? Well, the tower. Okay, that is this right here. There was an implosion because the foundation wasn't proper to build upon at the time. Ten of Swords in reverse. Because the foundation wasn't proper, this relationship came to an inevitable ending somehow, some way. But this is also about renewal and regeneration. Okay, so if you have experienced a tower in your past relationships that keep you from being excited about any kind of future relationship, this new relationship that's coming in is going to bring renewal and regeneration to the way that you believe about relationships. If this is a relationship that you've already engaged with, there is going to be renewal and regeneration in this relationship. Seven of Pentacles. It's time to take a step back, reflect, assess, investigate, and discover what your motivations are, what their motivations are, regroup, and reassess the moon in reverse and come to terms. Come to terms. What are you going to come to terms with? Well, the Three of Cups in reverse. This relationship in your past. Okay. The blanket relationship in the past, whether it is all of your relationships or a specific relationship, it says that there was too many cooks in the kitchen, third-party interference, doesn't necessarily mean cheating. It could be children. It could be family. It could be work that got in the way. Something got in the way of this relationship prospering. And that's why the relationship broke up. Whether it's this specific relationship or a blanket of relationship, um, there was some kind of interference that made this relationship unviable. Five of Cups in reverse, and that's why you moved on from it. You moved on from it because it wasn't viable, because there was some kind of outside interference that um, didn't uh, didn't didn't meet your expectations of what a relationship should be. This message that's coming to you with the Princess of Wands right there is going to offer you commitment. It is. It's going to offer you commitment. It is a committed relationship that is on its way to you. You are the queen of pentacles. Brand new beginning, brand new journey with the fool. The three of wands says, get ready. The eight of wands says, massive change is coming into your life. Massive change. They need you to transform out of the rubble that was the tower of either any relationship in your life that has made you salty or this specific person who made you salty. Could this be work? Absolutely. Could this be family? Absolutely. Could this be a romantic partnership? Absolutely. Prince of Cups in reverse. Prince of Cups in reverse tells me, clarified by the emperor, that um, if this is someone coming back from your past, in the past they were incapable of emotionally connecting. The Prince of Cups in reverse is about someone with fragmented emotions, someone who cannot pull it together to function properly in some kind of a relationship. The Emperor comes on top and says, this person has grown. I think possibly this person has had some kind of spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. Strength in reverse. Well, hold up. To the world. Okay. The world. Massive cycle change. This person's old cycle is over and their new cycle is beginning. Uh-huh. Your person who was emotionally unavailable in the past has now grown into a spiritual elevation 
They've come to terms with themselves. They've come to terms with their past. They've come to terms with their issues. And they're coming directly at you, Pisces. The world. This is the end. This is the end of this old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, not only for this person, but for the relationship that is about to form between the two of you. The new engagement with this person will not be like the previous engagement with this person, place or thing. Okay, whoever this is, family, love relationship, a job, they have had a gigantic come to Jesus meeting and they are grown. Their cycle is closed. This cycle between the two of you is about to close. If this is talking about someone who is and who is getting a new relationship, this is about you closing out the old cycle. This is about you being emotionally unavailable because of the tower. This is about you having a massive transformation. Okay? Strength in reverse. The weakness is the six of cups, the past. Okay? Your weakness is your remembrance of how it all went down in the past. Mm -hmm. whether it's a blanket relationship and you're just salty about relationships in general, or it is a specific relationship that went south, okay? Your weakness is the saltiness that you hold about this relationship or this type of relationship. The high priestess in the center of your reading, Pisces, the card of Pisces, this is you, feeling it out, sussing out the situation big time, big time, big time. This is also being major arcana, talking about your intuition, your internal compass, trying to point you towards your true north. What is it that you got to do to calibrate this compass? Well, the devil in reverse, you have to release some of your limiting beliefs. You have a belief system that is um, outdated, okay? There needs to be a release of your toxic saltiness so you can transform with this new cycle change, okay? What's the saltiness about? What's the limiting beliefs that you have to release? Well, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, maybe that nobody's good enough, everybody sucks, um, perhaps you tried to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear if this emperor is from your past and you've already had a go round with this. That's what needs to be released. That's what needs to be released. Why? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Because you had an inability to manifest here in the past. To judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse is about your self-doubt. Um, judgment in reverse is about a bad decision. It's about deciding to not decide. I think it's more about a bad decision here because you're salty. It was a bad decision to even get engaged in this whole situation in the first place, whether it's an actual relationship or a blanket relationship uh, theme, right? Bad decision. This person couldn't be my king of pentacles, wouldn't be my king of pentacles, all of them um, sucked as a king of pentacles. But remember, you have the emperor coming towards you now. The alchemist in reverse. Alchemist in reverse talks about untapped potential. What's the untapped potential? Well, this relationship is coming at you, Pisces. Whether you like it or not, it's coming at you. And they need you to get prepared because this relationship has new potential. This relationship has potential eight of wands, to change everything. This person has changed. You need to change. If this is a blanket overall kind of thing for all of your relationships, yes, you made bad choices in the past, but now it's time for you to pull it together because there is a really, 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 really good relationship trying to form in your life. Princess of Cups in reverse. This is you being emotionally unavailable. See, it's right underneath that Prince of Cups in reverse, okay? So because of the past people or person's inability to be emotionally available, the tower that happened between the two of you caused you 
to be emotionally unavailable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The devil in reverse. Again, it is time to release limiting beliefs. It is time to step out of a toxic mindset, king of swords, and see the truth of a situation, make some drop dead serious decisions to be careful what it is that you manifest in your mind, to mind your thoughts, because what you think about comes about. And if you're walking through life thinking everyone and everything sucks and love just isn't for you, I have a gigantic surprise for you, Pisces, because love is coming a knocking at your door. King of Swords, get your mind straight. Get it all straight. Come to terms with everything the alchemist in reverse because if you don't you're going to miss an opportunity to manifest in this situation because there is untapped potential here that these cards are saying you need to explore prince of pentacles been in this emotionally unavailable state right here for way too long way 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 too long two of wands in reverse maybe being hopeless about the future um possibly um possibly yeah being hopeless about the future or this is about or and or this is about you cannot create the kind of future that you want to create for yourself in this mindset you need to open your mind you need to change the way that you're thinking about things to prepare yourself to be ready to engage in this when it happens five of pentacles in reverse can't can't call this anything but someone coming out of the cold to the two of cups because there is a relationship coming towards you what's 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 the problem so the five of pentacles in reverse when this person comes out of the cold or this situation comes back around the eight of swords you're going to be all tied up in your head all tied up in your head why nine of wands resilience persistence king of cups this person is going to persistently pursue you pisces they are they're going to persistently pursue you and it's going to it's, it's going to mind fuck you pisces the hermit in reverse withdrawn you haven't heard from this person for a good long minute because they have been undergoing some kind of personal transformation this person has been withdrawn you have not heard from this person for a long time and now there are this situation this job this offer this family member whatever and now they're showing up full force and they're going to be really persistent king of cups because they are sincere very sincere the hermit in reverse uh, this tells me that they have not been have been around for a long time what's happening well, the Two of Cups is what's happening right here. Um, this person wants to form a relationship with you. Two of Swords, it puts you at a massive, massive crossroads. The Prince of Wands, just like this resilience and persistence with the Nine of Wands, right? They are bringing you big time messages of wanting to connect. The Three of Cups in reverse, but in the past, just like up here, there was interference in the relationship somehow, some way, or in the in in all of your relationships somehow, some way. The Sun in reverse says what you're not. No, I'm sorry. The Sun in reverse says that this is this was the root of your dismay in this situation ace of cups in reverse this was the root of why you cut this relationship off or this person cut you off in the past and you have a lot of repressed emotions about it queen of swords in reverse and those repressed emotions surface with anger and saltiness about relationships about this person about ever finding someone whatever happened here for you pisces whether it's a specific relationship or all of your relationships has really turned you into a salty spinster and you're like no it's just not for me love's not for me marriage isn't for me it's all not for me nine of swords anxiety and despair in your mind boom the chariot putting in the self-control the willpower and the determination to do what it is that you need to do because this is coming at you like a freight train pisces 
two of pentacles in reverse you're unprepared for it that's why they're telling you to get prepared you are unprepared for the massiveness of this relationship that's about to enter into your life prince of swords in reverse again you either haven't talked to this person in a long time or you have walled yourself off and haven't talked to anybody in a long time hangman in reverse says resistance delays stalling um, if it's a specific person and the reason that you haven't interacted with them since the last time you interacted with them is because um, they're, they, they needed to fix and change and grow over here. The hangman in reverse for you says stop resisting. Stop resisting dealing with your personal issues about whatever has happened in your life or in this relationship. Stop resisting strength. Overcome the saltiness. Overcome all of this downtrodden energy. Overcome it. Face it. Deal with it. Put it in its place and overcome it. Ace of Pentacles, because there is new seedlings of prosperity about to be planted in your life. The Hermit in reverse, withdrawn. The Queen of Swords in reverse, again, second time, salty. This is you holing up, Pisces. This is you walling off from the world, walling off from any kind of hopes of ever having any kind of love in your life. This is you still being salty and angry about what happened between you and this person if it's a specific relationship. This is you being withdrawn, isolated, and lonely, rooted in a bad mindset. Six of Pentacles in reverse, right? Um, the mindset of there isn't anybody out there for me. There's nobody out there that I could tolerate. There's nobody out there who could tolerate me. I am not going to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life because everybody is just stupid. <laughs> and then boom, the Wheel of Fortune comes on top of all of this and says, oh, no, 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 Pisces. No, 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 no. If you will allow it, if you will curb your thoughts, what you think about comes about. It's the magician. He's here twice. He's in the reverse. But what you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what you ruminate on in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. You have been rooting, ruminating in your subconscious mind about loneliness, withdrawal, isolation, saltiness, and there ain't no one out there for me. That's whoever this is hidden with. That's what you have been manifesting into your life. They need you to change the way that you think so you will pave the way for divine orchestration to take place in your life. There is a massive relationship headed directly towards you, Pisces. Massive relationship headed directly towards you. The three of wands on the bottom of the deck. Get ready. We opened with the three of wands. Get ready, Pisces. Prepare. It is coming towards you. You must be ready for it. Change the way that you think and feel. The sun in reverse, downtrodden, this downtrodden victim mentality, this downtrodden, oh, poor me, this downtrodden, I got screwed over mentality. It needs to go to the fool in reverse because it's a blockage to this fool up here. You cannot step out in a new beginning, in a new journey if you are not open and ready and prepared for it. It's time to till up the ground of your mind and prepare it for the seedlings of emotional growth that's about to enter into your life, Pisces. There is a new love about to enter into your life, whether it is a relationship, whether it is someone from the past resurfacing who has, according to these cards, undergone a come to Jesus meeting and they are a brand new person. Hit me up. We'll get your cards read. We'll, we'll channel this person and see what's really going on there. So, so either it's someone that has had a complete transformation that is coming back from your past, or it's you that needs to have the complete transformation so a new relationship can enter into your life. Wherever it fits, put it, Pisces. 
again, if this were your, if these were your cards, we could figure this out. But you know, I mean, I don't know what this is. It's like five billion different people here. There you go, Pisces. That's what these cards have to say for you. Get ready. Change your mindset. Till up the ground of your mind. Get ready to plant the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. The Fool, the World, the Wheel of Fortune. A, a fantastic, grown, mature person that wants a significantly committed relationship with you. I hope that helps someone. Oh, yeah, right. I asked, where's the wheel of fortune taking everyone, right? Boom. Love. That's where it's taking you, Pisces. There is a drop dead serious, very, very good relationship about to take root in your life. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get the ground ready. Get your mind ready. Get your emotions ready. Get your motivations ready. And most importantly, get your sense of security and well-being ready because it is going to be fantastic. Namaste, Pisces. <laughs>